Muslims and Christians worship the same God? I hear that question very frequently because I think people look at Islam and Christianity and assume that because Muslims and Christians both worship one God, who is the creator of all things and the ruler of all things, it must be the same God. Well, no. All that tells you is that Muslims and Christians agree that there is a God. But there is profound disagreement about the character of that God. Let me illustrate the difference between existence and character this way. If I say to you that there is one president of the USA, and I believe that president to be Barack Obama, and you say you believe there is one president of the USA, and you believe it to be Donald Duck, we clearly agree that there is one president, but we disagree profoundly about the character, the identity of that president. Something similar is going on when we compare Yahweh in the Bible with Allah in the Quran. Let me illustrate the character of God in the Bible. The Bible is clear. There are four chief attributes to God. He is a God who is personal and relational. He is a God who can be known. And in fact, scripture commands Christians not just to follow and obey him, but to know him. He is a God who the Bible describes as being love in his very nature, his very essence. And he has demonstrated that love in being willing to suffer on the cross in order to deal with our sin and our brokenness that we might be reconciled to him and put back into relationship. Well, turn to the Quran and you discover that Allah, the God of the Quran, is not relational. He is not personal. Nowhere does the Quran ever say that you can know him. He is too distant for that. He is not a God ever described as being love, and he has certainly not suffered or acted in any way to deal with the problem of sin. And the more you compare the characters of God in the Bible and the Quran, the more you realize they are utterly different. And to say that is not to disrespect my Muslim friends. In fact, it's the other way around. If we try and make Islam look like Christianity, we are forcing it into a framework where it doesn't fit. Study Islam on its own terms and study the God of the Bible on his own terms. But as you look at the God of the Bible, one thing I think stands out. Remember, we are asked not to know about him, but to know him personally. Do you know him?